Welcome back everyone. On this video we decided to kind of show you our setup for going camping. We have a GMC Duramax with Allison transmission. It's a four-wheel drive. It's a 2015 so it's used. I just couldn't see paying ninety to a hundred thousand dollars for the same truck brand new. So we went that way. It's got running boards down here on the side. It is a one ton. It has exhaust brakes, which really help us out when we're coming down the hills. Um, it's obviously a four door. In the back here, we have Thor. That's where he rides. We got the seats flipped up and the, he has the whole back to himself. Say hi, Thor. <laughs> Won't go into too much detail on the inside because everybody knows what a pickup looks like. So here in the back, when we when we bought this pickup, we didn't know if we were going to do a bumper pull or if we were going to do a fifth wheel. And for us, we weighed it back and forth. And we decided that a fifth wheel would be the best suit for us. A little more room, um, but really better turning in my opinion. So we had to have the fifth wheel hitch installed and it's a pull right hitch we're still learning that um, you can mess it up and get get the post in the hitch part in the wrong spot and then you're you're down so luckily when that happened to us we had another person come over and help us figure it out so we keep this time of year we keep the firewood in the back um, we don't get much rain in the summer, so it doesn't hurt it any. And in the wintertime, we'll take the firewood back out. Um, we do still have the standard hitch on here because we have a utility trailer, so I just leave it hooked up on there all the time. But it's, you know, with the diesel feature, it, I can tell you it pulls us at 85 miles an hour. Well. I've been told <laughs> <laughs> by Retta, slow down. <laughs> so I don't know if there's much more we can really talk about. The pickup is dirty because we have been using it. And you know, when you use it that much, why wash it? Because in a week, it's just gonna look like this again. And we're old and it cuts into our drinking time. So we don't wash it. <laughs> So, you got anything else you want me to add to that? No? All right, so I think what we're gonna do now is uh, Retta's gonna give me the camera and she's gonna take you through the trailer and I'll interject things here and there too. So, here we go. Okay, so this is our big, beautiful new trailer. Let me start out by saying that I really wanted something a lot smaller, but uh, Mr. Lynn uh, overrode me, and I have to say I'm really happy he did because I love this thing. Okay, so we're gonna go around the outside real, for, real quick first. We have three tip outs, two on this side and then one on the other side. Um, we have uh, features that were really important to us when we bought it because um, we're old and we don't like wrestling things around anymore. So this little beauty has this auto level here, which when we pull up to a campground and we just hit that auto level button and it, and it does all of the auto leveling for us. So we don't have to mess around with that. Um, so back here, we have this handy dandy little thing back here that we uh the eventual plan is to put a there's like a cover that comes with this and we're going to put the firewood in it so that it keeps it dry because we live in oregon and it's always wet here and here we have our little uh hooper holler for you know when we go to a campground where there's not a sewer hookup and i don't really love using this thing and we already have a video on this of using it so we'll put that up for you guys to have a look at too and it's, just so you know that thing will haul a lot of crap <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> so 
One thing we love about this thing is all of these big, beautiful windows, um, especially when you're out camping. Um, if you have a good spot where you're not like right next to your neighbor and you actually have some greenery around you, these windows just really bring the outside right in. They're awesome. Yeah, love the windows. We have the awning here. And then we have another awning up here. Um, we haven't used those much, but they're really nice. Uh, they are lighted, so um, when you're sitting outside at night, you can turn the lights on the awning on. Kind of see the lights right up there at the top. All right, well, uh, come on into my second home. This is our big, beautiful second home here. Um, we decided to go with the, the table and chairs as opposed to the booth because neither one of us really like booths. Um, we do have two more chairs that are kind of stored back under the bed, which is nice because if we decide to take someone with us, we can um, bring out more chairs and everybody can have a place to eat. We have a couple of recliners here. They recline really nice and they're, um, they won't turn on right now because they, you have to be plugged into shore power for these puppies to work, um, but they're really awesome. They're actually really comfortable too. Um, nice big couch here. This folds out into a half of a bed. So instead of having the whole thing pull out, um, say you only have one other person traveling with you, you can fold out half of the bed and still have half the couch to, to sit on, which is super nice. We have all these lovely storage up here. Really nice feature. Um, this storage spot here is huge. It goes way back. Uh, it has a stereo and it has the outside speakers on it. Nice TV. We we actually do watch some movies on this once in a while. Yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not much one for watching TV, but I like a good movie. Um, fireplace. Um, again, it won't turn on without shore power, but it's super nice. Um, refrigerator. <clears throat> this is a huge refrigerator for, um, for a trailer. We can definitely pack everything we need in there for two weeks and no problem. Stove is also a little bit larger than standard in an, in an RV, which was another huge selling point for me. Um, has a nice good size oven. I'm told you can cook an entire turkey in there, but I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> um, nice little, uh, oh, to do the pantry. Really nice size pantry. So this top shelf actually goes all the way to the roof. And I haven't figured out what to do with that yet. So if anybody wants to, you know, if anybody has one of these and they want to give me some suggestions, I'm all up for that. And some more storage here, some more cabinets. Um, when they, the salesperson showed this feature to us, he called it a coffee bar. I said, ha ha, margarita bar. <laughs> and we have used it for that. Here, let me give you another angle here of the... There you go. Table and chairs there. So this has a, an electronic panel here, which is kind of odd sometimes because some of the lights you can't turn on anywhere except on this panel, which makes it kind of weird. Um, another nice thing about this is that this fan up here, you turn it on here, um, and if you go off and leave it open and it starts to rain, it'll close itself. As my son would say, that's really bougie. Oh, oh it has a uh, vacuum right here. So you just sweep your debris in there. Yeah, well, that thing kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> if we're lucky, it does. Yes. Huge bathroom. It's got lots of storage. And that shower is just nice, nice size. OK, 
kind of huge actually. And it's got that uh, skylight right above it. So um, I have very rarely had to turn on the light in the bathroom, which is kind of cool. We have not yet opened or closed the actual bathroom door. I hope it works when I actually need it to work. <laughs> Same thing with the bedroom door. We have not actually closed it yet. Oh, and this is weird. They have a window right in front of the bathroom. So I don't close the door. I just close the shade. Um, so we got a dresser here, king size bed. Got another TV in here, which we have not even tried yet. Have no idea if it works or not. We have lights and USB and a shelf up above each side of the bed, which is super handy. Um, for putting all your, you know, your glasses and things like that at night, your phone. And then we have, this is Thor's bed, but in the future, if we ever wanted it to be, it could be, we could put a washer and dryer in there. So, um, yeah, it's already plumbed for it and we probably will. We just haven't had a need yet, but Thor finds it pretty comfortable in there at night. And then we have this big closet here and it does go through to the to that section over there but you know you got hanging clothes you got a shelf up here you got more sh cubby holes back there um i think that's about it so uh tell me what do you think do you love it as much as i do <laughs> <laughs> i do i don't know about you guys but yeah, this, this is really nice. We are planning on doing a two to four month trip to the East Coast and probably start out in the spring and go across the southern part of the U.S. And then when it gets summertime, we'll be going up the eastern seaboard and then we'll uh, head back across the top when we come home. So... I'm going to be seeing lots of history, and Lynn's going to be seeing lots of pubs. Yes. Because <laughs> that's the way we roll. That's right. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to try and make them a little longer. This one's longer than the last one. We're going to try and show you some of the places we go also. Yeah, we're headed up to the Olympic Peninsula in about three days. So we'll yeah. be showing you some some video from up there. Super yeah. excited about that. So we'll get that done and get it back out to you as soon as we can. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, and just remember, when you're retired. It's always 5 o'clock. <laughs>